Hello again, and welcome back to Little Melto Channel in the kitchen. The reason is I can't film upstairs because the lighting is absolutely atrocious at this time of the morning because it's early here, it's about seven o'clock in the morning. And the reason why the awkward angle here is, is because of the light over there. I have a problem. I decided to buy a tool for America because we can't get it here in Britain. It's a DWE46153. It's basically, it's a grinder. It's a floor grinder, or a surface grinder, if you like. Problem is, it came from America. We are 110 plug. This is the American 110 plug. This is the UK equivalent 110 plug. You do see a little bit of a difference. And I must admit, this looks a bit like a toothpick. And I'm not too impressed with it either. Although I suppose you could say you can bend them back again and put them back up in place again. You could probably run over this with a forklift truck and survive. I must admit, bend the pins back. Problem is, we run on 240 volts. We need a transformer like this to convert it back to 110. See? So, to convert it back to 110, it then comes through, you plug this in, that machine there, and then that puts it in place. The problem is, is American wiring. So, it comes in black and white. So what's black and white? Which one's positive and which one's negative? Because we use positive and negative. But in America, they use a hot wire. Yeah, and that started the problem off. So, first of all, we're gonna have to get rid of this plug, which is cut off here. Okay, I'll file this under B for Ben. Okay, because we don't need that. Now, you need one of these plugs here and one of these boxes. These boxes vary in price. Roughly for a decent one, you're talking about £45. Some people are going to think that's expensive. Some people are going to think that's cheap. Okay. So first of all, what we've got to do is we are plug. Now remember, mine's just connected, so I'm going to reverse engineer it. The first thing we've got to do with our plug is unscrew this bit here, because that's just how it'll come. Remember, the wire won't be attached to it. We then have to take this piece out of the inside, which is the water seal and the actual cable grip. Okay, done that. Next, there should be some screws inside here. This one hasn't got it. There is a logo on here that says push down with a screwdriver. So you've got to push down with a screwdriver here, then turn it like so, and this comes to bits. Okay, now this is when it all starts getting interesting. Normally inside the UK 110 plugs, there is a, a live, a neutral, and an earth. This didn't come with it. It came with color coding black and white. We're used to wires like red and blue. Red is live, blue is neutral. Okay, so anyway, what do we do? Well, I'm just gonna unscrew this here. In fact, I'll do this off camera. It just to speed it up a bit. So now we take the wires out. I'll put them back how I originally had them. Okay. Now. So when I cut that plug off that I threw away, like there, I then had a tape measure. I roughly trimmed off two inches of the black rubber here, which be careful. This is quite solid. You really do need a sharp knife for this. You see? Something like this here. See? Uh, but somebody wants to see a bit more about this. I'll just be quick on this just now. This is a standard knife. The blade doesn't stay out. It always retracts in. Safety. Also, it can fold down and come down like this. But there is no blade place in it for holding blades. Okay? Now, back to this. So we strip back with rubber with two inches. We then take a method, or we can trim around here very carefully. And how much did I take off that? Three quarters of an inch. I took three quarters of an inch away from here, like so. Then I twisted them like so, like this. Then with my thumb, I then bent them in half, like so. This is to give more grip. When I was working with the electrician on the shop floor, he said, always double your wiring over and give the grub screw a really good place to grip. Always. So we have to use long nose pliers and bend them over and do it that way. You see? 
Now, we've done this. Now comes to the next problem. Which ones were live and which ones are negative? We have a positive and a negative. I ended up watching, to start with five videos, and I thought I had it right. I actually had this pegged as alive. No, it's not. In America, their actual wall sockets have got brass, which this one goes to. Then they have a clear one, like a chrome one. And that's for this one. Shiny white to that one. And this one goes to the dull brass, if you like. Okay, fine. I'm starting to get a bit of a picture forming in my head here, to be honest with you. So then eventually, some guy had about four plugs lined up and he's going through them all the different color codings. And then he says, he, this is your negative. So if that's your negative, this is a positive. Because Americans, although they talk the same language as us, they talk in different terms. They say it's a hot wire, which means it's the live wire. So let's get on. So let's get it connected up. First of all, you've got to make sure that you have three items on the end here. You have the screw bit, you have the cable holding bit with the water seal on it, and you have this piece on. I have known somebody that did that, and uh, hmm, wired it up and then realized they haven't put the other bit on, had to undo it all. Okay, so we've got this. Now remember, there should be a live L there, there should be an N here on this side, and this is your earth here. The earth, this is only two core, if it was three core, the earth would be either colored green or yellow. So I'm trying to make this simple. I haven't got this. All that I've got is this. So we then, feels like I'm shouting, well, of course the microphone's there. We then, we've realized that this is our live. We put this into the live socket in here, little holder, thus screwing it down in place. Nice and firm. That should be doing. Uh, it's enough. And then we take the other white wire and we connect it to the other side, which is the neutral side. And here, making sure all the wires are actually in there. Mm, not happy with that. There's a bit of loose wire there. Okay, it's in now. Thus screwing it back into place. Right, so, now if your plug socket has screws in here to join the next section on, you would then push this up into place. I have to find the correct orientation for this to actually do this. Seems it. And then you turn it like so and twist it into place, or you screw it into place like so. You then take your water seal, which is here. Yeah. Placing this in place, some of them are a bit more awkward than others and some are better than others. This is a rather garbage one, to be honest with you. But then again, it was a cheap plug anyway. I stole it off the extension lead. On mine, you have to push it in like so, turn it up into place. Some people say, push a bit in if you want, you can do that. I'm not bothered because I'm going to buy a better plug anyway. And hey presto, we are now up and running. Now comes the r -back. I've done this video for a reason, because there isn't videos up there about this, and if there is, I can't find them. In other words, we should be able to buy stuff for America if we've got the converter, the transformer, if you like, up here. Now, on building sites in Britain, we're not allowed to charge batteries up on site because they're 240 volts, you see? But I have heard people actually putting them into the actual 110 and changing them over and they, they can't actually charge them. I don't know whether that's fact or not and I don't know and I wouldn't try until somebody can come along and say yeah that is safe to do that to be honest with you. Anyway, this here, now when I plug this in, this grinder will work. But the problem is, have I got the wiring diagram right? That's why this video goes up. If I've got it wrong, then I'll have to take it back down and redo the whole video all over again. Am I prepared to do that? Yeah, I am actually, because it's electricity, it's safety. Point is this, is it going to work? Well, let's go and try and plug 
the thing in and let's find out if it will actually work. As you can see, I'm not going to plug it in. It only goes one way, you see? Well, safety here, you can't pull them out of there because it's got little catches on it. So, <sighs> well, let's work. I'm going to get electrocuted. Well, it fires up anyway. And it's turning in the right direction as well. So let's hope I don't get the embarrassment of having to take this video down. Okay then, thank you very much for watching. Bye now.